so in this section we are going to implement video course uh, to view the video okay and we are integrating the youtube video in our applications if you did not watch my any of this video uh, of this particular uh, course then you can watch um, before um, watching this particular video okay so so today i uh, am we are going to build this particular section let's walk through what we are going to build so if i open any of this video course right i am talking about the video course and you will see uh, everything as it is the similar the other course we have right and then uh, go to the course content in this case if i open the course content you will see the video you can play the video and the description right i can able to play this video i can able to forward all of these things because this is the youtube integrated video you can go back and everything will be as it is right so we are covering this particular section because we already completed uh, the course listing and everything here right so uh, we pretty much completing uh, going to complete the application uh, the remaining part is video course so we are completing this particular section so currently if you check the application right and if you go to the uh, video course and you open any course right it jumping to the course chapter page that is our default page which we implemented for the all other courses except the video okay so now first of all let's go to the uh, course content page right here if you remember right we added this navigation okay and is going to the course chapter page but when the uh, navigation is the of type video we don't want to navigate to the course chapter page and we want to create a new different page right so first what i will do i will remove this particular line of code from here okay and i will create a new method constant on 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 chapter page on chapter page and here i will add that condition okay this is this need to be arrow function okay like this make sure the item is here right so we have to pass the item here so here i will say course content and this course content i, I have to pass it here okay so just all this method on chapter press here like this okay and you have to pass this item value okay and save it if you go back and you back any of this particular one right and let's make sure it's working and now it's working okay now what you have to do you have to differentiate whether you are opening the video course type or the basic regular course right so for that one let's go to our course list right so we have here course list and somewhere and we also have the video course list so if you go to the video course list here uh, when we are navigating to course detail page we are passing the course data right along with that we will also pass oh, sorry along with that we also pass the course type okay and here i will say video and same course type i'm going to pass in a course list as well because we also have the course list where we are uh, going to the course detail page right so here as well i will pass it to course type as a text only okay just to differentiate and save it now in a course uh, in course detail page right we are getting this uh, this uh, course type using this parameter correct so what you have to do you have to pass this course uh, type to this course content right and we are using this component in order to pass it correct so here what i will do i will just write course type is equal to parameter dot course type okay and this course type now available over here right just need to accept it here like this course type okay now we have the course type okay you have to write the condition if the course type is equal to equal to text then navigate to this particular course chapter page okay otherwise i will console it and it will say this is video course okay perfect and save it now let's trace this okay so we have this uh, console open i will open it like this now if i open the basic python this is a text based course right and if i open any of this right uh, i'm okay so when i open this right it's navigating to course chapter page correct but now if i come back and if i open video course right and open any of this course it's just saying 
this is a video course it means it's not going to this course chapter page that is what we wanted correct now what we will do we will navigate to some other page so for that we will create a new page in our page folder so go to the page folder create a new page called play video dot js okay add the default template so react native function okay with the shortcut and you will get this default template now you have this new page right you have to make sure that in the navigation you will add this particular uh, screen in the stack right so just copy the existing one replace this name i will give name this to the play video and the component name right so here in this case is play video okay. and save everything okay now go to the our course content page here copies the same existing navigation and paste it here right now here is thing right you can optimize this code obviously you can just change this uh, navigation and keep as it is it's up to you right but as this course is a beginner friendly i will keep things separate little bit okay now here in order to instead of navigating this course chapter i will navigate to play video okay and uh, when the course type is not a text box it means the course type is a video and save it now if i click it on this interim you see play video is coming it's very at the top correct so let's me give some padding here so i will add the inline styling and i will give some padding 20 from all side and margin from the top that's a 10 or is a 25 and save it you see play video is coming that is what we wanted now let's add some ui so first of all we will add the back button then our uh chapter name here and the video and then description okay so first of all let's add the back button okay so if you know we already added the back button in the course detail uh, and course chapter page right so i will just copy paste here like this i will import the, all the statement which we wanted so now make sure you will import the all statement okay and the one one which we now need to install is ioni icon as well so make sure you will import the ioni icon okay and you have to add use the navigation as well you see the button is coming so for navigation i will add the constant navy uh, navigation is equal to use navigation okay perfect now if i click on this button it will go back to the previous page okay now back button is working now also in the play video right uh, if you go back go to this play video oh, sorry we already have in play video so we will accept the parameter because uh, when we uh, jump it from this course content we have this course content right and that need to accept it here okay as a parameter so here i will write use param is equal to use uh, route okay and then the parameter which I, we want right here like this and uh, i will accept that we will store it in a uh, use state so i will add the use zipper first and also we will add the uh, use state here so constant in video chapter set video chapter is equal to use state use state perfect like this okay i will pass it empty here i will set the video uh, chapter and there is parameter and if you go back right the we want the course content so the parameter dot course content and now we have this video chapter uh, available in the video chapter okay correct next we will add this text here right so what we will do i will write one condition uh, if the uh, course video chapter is available then only show that uh, information right so i will write like this if video chapter is there i will add wrap it everything in view Uh, like this okay uh, otherwise it show null okay and we'll put this text inside this view okay now here what i will do you want to show the title correct so in order to show the title just write video chapter dot name right because in uh in the, the field name called name it is in the video chapter data so that's what we are calling right and if i save it 
you will see the introduction like this okay also add some inline styling so i already have some styling i will add like this so okay so just make the font bold and the font size is increase okay and also we'll skip some space to this uh video or oh, sorry video and then we will add the description as well okay so i will just copy paste the existing code which i have and i will paste it like this right and i'm accessing this description using the video chapter dot description that's all you see video description is coming now the important part is came here to display the youtube video correct so for that one i am using the third party library the link in the description this is the uh, react native youtube iframe uh, okay which is available on github so you can access it the link is in the description so for our expo application right first of all we have to install the web view right if you click on this expo app installation you will open this web view make sure copy this line of command and then execute this one in our in your project okay once it installed go back to this particular documentation and then you have to install this particular dependency which is for the installing the youtube iframe so go back to our application again and execute this one now if you go to the basic use right here you will see how to use this particular um, youtube player right so i will just copy this line of code right you will see right this is the youtube player and this is the some of the uh, callback function and also using the use state in order to play the video or not right so i will copy this one okay. and uh, before this description i will paste like this okay and uh, you have to make sure that you will add this iframe okay so add this iframe also i have to add this line of code because we are using this playing uh, uh, use state here like this and this particular on test change as well so i will add it like this so after this i will add and uh, okay, uh, i think it's playing also came here i will keep it like this make sure you will import this use callback okay and, here, uh, and remove this alert because we don't want it here like this and save it right now once it's save right it will show you the video you see right now this is the default video because it provides the default id right so we will replace this id with our video id so in this case video chapter dot video url so url contains the id of the video and if i save it you see it's coming back right you can decrease the size i will put it to 20 okay, the space between this one and voila it's working right now if i go back open this different video and you see it's showing the title it's showing the different okay, second number video and the description the different video is showing every time right and if i play the video you see it's playing with the video as well okay that's all so i hope you understand this particular uh, section if you don't if you have any question any doubt please comment in the comment section or you can dm me in the, on my instagram channel and the youtube channel as well okay or you can do on my telegram as well and if you not yet subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and uh, next course is coming uh, so maybe in the next course right we will just a little bit do some uh, uh, changing and also we will uh, publish this application on the app store and play store